Hi, good morning. It's Saturday, the 28th of January, uh, 2023. I hope I've had a good week. Um, I'm sorry, just a little disoriented. I just got some news about my brother. Uh, he's in the hospital. And, you know, my, I guess this is, um, his friend called, you know, she texted my sister last night, told him that he's in the hospital and stuff. They, you know, I think he has fluid on his chest and stuff and they think it might be heart failure and stuff so my sister and my brother are going to see him today I just told her to you know keep me updated about him because she said he's you know he's feeling better now but you gotta watch this like I said my brother he I think he he called me back in I think it was November or something and he was telling me about his health issues and I was telling him that you know to to go to you know Go to the hospital and and that 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 at least go to this you know the city med place so they can give you know they could send you to the hospital especially your condition is that way they're not gonna uh let you go home if your condition is you know it's as serious as it wasn't i i kept kind of stressed to him to go to the go to the hospital because my brother's a little he's a little overweight and and I was tell, you know, he was telling me that he had these appointments and stuff, and I told him to make sure you go and follow up because there's no way in the world a doctor would let you out of the hospital because that's it's malpractice if your condition is that bad because he's you know have trouble breathing and stuff. And I was telling him to go and stuff. And then the last time I think I talked to him, he my brother's situation is kind of complicated because again he was you know begging for money and I said listen I can't you know though I can't lend you <laughs> you know a certain amount of money cuz I have you know <laughs> everything's <laughs> you know how expensive it is to live in New York and rent is going rent is just not you know going up you know rent is not rent never goes down and stuff so I said I can't aff afford to, <laughs> to lend you money that and then he just stopped calling me and stopped talking to me and Unfortunately, I think he was doing that to my other brothers and sisters as well. And my sister, you know, my my older sister, she, not my older sister, because my older sister and him don't really get along. But my uh, second older sister, she, you know, she worries about him and stuff. And and my brother was telling me the other day when he, not the other, about two or three weeks ago, when he came over to watch the fight, that my sister was worried about him. And so today, you know, my brother, at, you know, who lives with my sister, they're going to go to the hospital and check on him and see how he's doing. And I told my sister, you know, keep me updated and let me know how he is, you know, how is he, you know, how is he doing? And I'm hoping that, you know, now that they actually got him in the hospital, that he'll get actually, you know, treatment because, like I said, we've known this for the longest time that, okay, and like I said, he's, you know, he's overweight and he's having trouble breathing and stuff and he got sleep, they say he got sleep apnea too, which doesn't help. Because that you know they say when you know when he sleeps that sometimes he stops breathing, and, and I know he was like I say he was coughing like crazy and stuff, and I just I just told him why did you? you know, it just seemed like he waited too long to to get treatment for this because I said look listen this has been months and months ago I said I don't know how they you could check into the hospital and they there's no way or even you know he had a, a specialist that he went to there's no way in the world a specialist would check you out of not check you into the hospital with his condition. But I don't know if it got worse. And then they finally actually checked him into the hospital. And so I'm going to, you know, my sister works in the healthcare field. So, and so that's why, you know, she's going with my brother. So, and I know she'll actually get the actual true diagnosis from the doctors. And that way she'll let us know and stuff. And maybe I can get, you know, get around and go see him. Hopefully, and I'm hoping that they actually prescribe a treatment for him, because like I said, he was having, you know, trouble breathing and stuff, and he was telling me he's coughing, and so I, I don't know if his heart is weak because of you know his his weight and all that stuff, but so I'm hoping that they actually can treat him and and get him on the road to recovery because I'm just. Like I said, I can't afford to lose my brother. My other brother died in 2021. And I can't... I really don't want to... 
lose my 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 oldest brother. I really don't. That is, that's why I'm hoping that that he's actually now physically in the hospital. They can actually, you know, actually treat him and get him a a, di a, pro a diagnosis to help him with his issues that he can, you know, so he can get healthy. That's that's what my biggest uh, uh, fear. That's why I'm happy. Not not happy, but I'm actually glad that they actually kept him in the hospital and and actually are treating him because it seemed to me like when he was telling me before that they kept he kept they kept referring him to specialists. He kept going and all the stuff, but then. Like he wasn't getting better, so I says, "So what? You know, what's the point of getting all these doctors? They're not going to actually physically keep you in the hospital." And say, "Listen, this is your this is your diagnosis. And say this is your condition. Okay, either you're going to have to lose weight, and and this is the thing we can do to treat and help you with your breathing and stuff, and get better." But I think he has, according to that text I saw, that his lady friend sent my sister. He had fluid on his lungs and all the stuff, and they were trying to drain that. And now she said that he's feeling. She said that the last message. I think she said he's he's sleeping better. You know, they have the tubes in his nose to help him breathe and stuff. And so I'm hoping that they actually diagnose him and and treat him better. Like I said, my brother and sister are going to see him today. So hopefully, I told my sister just keep me updated when you go to the hospital and actually find out. She'll find out exactly what his treatment is and you know what they're doing for him. And I hope that they actually can actually, you know, they won't kick him out of the hospital before they actually treat him and get him on the road to recovery. Because I, I do worry about what his, you know, his condition. Because I, I remember he, he just sounded real bad the last time I talked to him with the coughing and all, all that stuff. And and I know he had the breathing thing, a breathing machine thing to help him breathe and stuff. But since he got sleep apnea, and then like it's, I think that thing when you. When you're sleeping and then he stops breathing, which is crazy, and I think that could kill you. And I'm just real sad. Like I said, my sister, my oldest sister and him don't get along, so I don't even want to. Even because my sister asked me that she told me, I don't, I don't even know if she knows to be honest. Like I said, because I know she blocked his number because they they don't get along. To be perfectly honest, which is really. A shame you think after the death of my other brother they would have got closer but it seems like there's still that tension between them so <sighs> I'm just hoping you know when my sister calls me back later after they visit and she has good news I'm, I'm hoping about him and stuff and I know my sister she'll let my other brothers and sisters know too about him as well because I know my brother uh, I think the last thing I heard him Text because my sister was talking about her nieces, you know, her daughter's having a baby, you know, and they're gonna have a little shower for her in March, and and my brother was saying that he doesn't know if he can be there. Uh, I think that's the last thing, and I know before that, during right after New Year's, he was he sent a, a angry text to everybody, and and I don't know this is because maybe he's sick, and he fe he's feeling like nobody cares. Which is which is not the case. It's just it's a you know family is complicated, which is just really really sad. But I'm hoping I'm gonna hope it's good news when they go visit him, and hopefully the doctors have a treatment for him to get him healthy and stuff, and and he can actually get healthy because I don't want to lose another brother. I really don't, and just it just. It's sad, really, and it. And he has two daughters, and I don't even know if his daughters know. Which is, which is crazy. You know, one of his daughters lived, I think, lives down south, and then one of his daughter lives here. But he, he doesn't have the best relationship with her, so it's just, it's complicated, and it's really is sad. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, just that just that was on my mind, and I just wanted to talk about it. Anyway, um, uh, this week, uh, today I'm going to try to watch, uh, these two movies, two animated movies, actually. One is going to be, uh, DC's, uh, you know, Batman, Superman, Battle of the Super Sons, which is a movie I actually bought on, on a Blu-ray a couple of months ago. And I finally was, I think, able to download it. And so I'm going to see if I can watch that this morning, see if I can do an edited version of that for this channel and, you know, unedited for my patron. 
and then also Wally, which is you know that Disney Pixar movie that came out years ago. I've seen clips of it, but I haven't seen that movie from beginning to end. So I want to see if I can watch that and again do an edited version for this channel and an unedited version of that for my patrons. So I'm gonna to try to watch those two movies this morning. Hopefully that'll be enough of a distraction from my brother's thing. I can just try to keep my mind off that for a little bit, and then I'm and um. And I also want to make a video also for my other uh, channel, Paul's Views and Opinions, about the whole, the the case down in Memphis where the, where the, plat, where the five black police officers got charged rightfully. So they got fired and then they got charged for murdering uh, that individual. They stopped, I forgot his name right now. They stopped him, a traffic stopped, and, this, and they released, finally released a video uh, yesterday, which is horrific. I didn't really want to watch it. But unfortunately, you know, they were showing it on the news. And it's absolutely brutal how inhuman, how they treated him. It was just inhuman how they treated this guy. They beat, it beat him worse than they beat an animal. This It was just horrific to watch. And then I think even the worst part, of besides the beating, was the fact that they let him sit there for like, I think they said like almost 30 minutes without anybody giving him aid. And he slumped up against the car, handcuffs slumped up against the car. And he, I think he even fell over because he was just so out of it. And then they showed that picture of him in the hospital. And he, I think he lingered in the hospital for like three days before he passed on. And, and it's just horrific what they did to this guy. It's, and I'll, I'll make, a, make a video for my Paul's Views and Opinions channel about that. Just It's just horrific what happened to him. And uh, I'm sorry, I just, between that and my brother, I'm just, this is crazy. Um, uh, I think I will talk to my sister. Uh, my sister doesn't get along with him. I don't know if she wants to know or not, but I'll, 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 I'll text her and see if she wants to know. Uh, Cause I don't know if my sister, my sister texted her, cause she she asked me does Elizabeth know, and maybe she texted her last night and let her know. So I don't know. But my sister, you know, my older sister, and like I said, they don't get along. But my sister is when it comes to family, she's, you know, she's, yeah, uh, she's very emotional. And I don't want to uh, bum her out, but you know, as much as they don't get along, you know, he's still her brother, and and she's. And she has a right to know and stuff. So uh, I'm assuming my other sister's going to text my other brothers and stuff and let them know. And I just want, hopefully, when they go see him, he's feeling better. He actually can talk. And, and hopefully they have a treatment program for him so he can actually get better. Because it seems like he got heart problems, sleep apnea. He's overweight, I think, which is, I think, not helping. Uh, like, he's very, not his, like, his upper body is really heavy and heavy not his legs so much it's just his upper body and i think that's put strains on his heart and stuff and and plus the sleep apnea not helping and he's having trouble breathing and so hopefully they treat him and they you know they keep him in the hospital long enough to treat him to to the point where he has a condition if he has to get a because i think he was having a home health aide that would come to his house apartment and actually help clean and he may need a nurse uh to uh, help him until he gets, you know, better physically. And hopefully there is a treatment for that, you know, his, and I think it has to be with him start to him. I think he has to lose, lose some of the weight. He just, I think that's help his breathing and all that stuff. And hopefully that happens. <sighs> I'm sorry. I just, I'm just distracted by that. <laughs> um, so look for later. Hopefully I can, uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, it's a little bit after nine right now. I'm going to get up and wash up and eat, uh, eat something. And then I'm going to probably around 11 o'clock watch the Batman Battle of the Super Sons, watch that. And then we'll take a little break and then watch the uh, Wally. And then, uh, probably go out, do a little food shopping and stuff and run a few errands and then get back in the house and, and maybe start editing those. Uh, hopefully I can edit one of them today and then Put that up tonight and maybe the other one tomorrow. Uh, so I'm sorry. I'm just, 
again, I'm just, just distracted by that. Uh, so, and maybe that will keep my mind off thing. Because, oh yeah, speaking of things off my mind, I had a, a little scare. Like I said, my stepfather who lives with me, he's, uh, let's see, he's 86, I believe. Uh, but he, you know, he gets around. Uh, wait, hold on. I just want to make sure I got that right. My stepfather is, uh, I think he's going to be 86. I think he's 85 right now, actually. Uh, but, um, is he? Hold on. Uh, 67. No, I think he's 80 something. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know his exact, uh, age, I think, but I think he's in his eighties. <laughs> okay. Um, but um, earlier this week, my brother had called me like three times, but unfortunately I had my phone on mute. And by the time I got home, I saw that he had called me. So I called him back. And and then when I saw his calls, I thought immediately that something may have happened to my stepfather who lives with me. But my stepfather, he has a home health aide that comes like four, I think four days a week to, you know, take him to appointments and clean up here for him, make him breakfast if he needs it and uh, take him to appointments and stuff. And because my stepfather's a diabetic and stuff, and but like I said, he for his age he gets around he gets around good and stuff, and like I said, he has the home health aid that comes like four I think four or five time, days of four or five times a week because I noticed that when I was on vacation, and you know she kept coming I think she came like I think it was four days out of the week, um, but you know he has that and I that was my immediate thought when my brother had called me I thought oh man something happened. I mean, something may have happened to him. Uh, I, I thought, oh God, I, you know, I just I don't know why it immediately came to to mind. And then when I, I called my brother, he said, no, because apparently I think I butt dialed him, and he said, oh, that's the, that's what he thought too, that something happened <laughs> uh, to his yeah, to his father, yeah, to to my stepfather too. He thought that happened too, and I said, oh, no, thankfully, uh, no, he's okay. So this just makes sure that. You know, unfortunately, life changes and people get older. And like I said, my my boss, her now, she's retiring. and She's leaving Tuesday is her last day. Uh, they had a luncheon for her last week, last Tuesday, I believe. They, the big bosses had a lunch where everybody, you know, set up there and ate and stuff. But um, they're also going to give her a cake, I think, on Monday. Uh, we just chipped in money and they're going to buy her like a, a goodbye cake for her. Because I think Tuesday is her last day. And we, you know, we got a new boss coming in and stuff. It just shows you, unfortunately, life goes on. Sometimes you, you get used to something and you, and then all of a sudden you get a change and then it feels weird and it does feel weird that she's leaving because she's been a good boss and and stuff. So I'm going to, I'm happy. I'm sad to see her go, but yeah, like I said, she's in another one. I think back in October or November, she had to have surgery on her foot and and you can see she's walking like really slow when she walks. She was off, I think, for like a month or so, a month and a half. And she came back and she was like walking really slow. And she just, I think the doctor probably told her it's probably time to retire. And, and she's, I think she's, uh, oh my, I think she's over 65 now. So I think she's just going to retire. And, and she told us she's going to, you know, she lives in Jersey, you know, with one of her sons. She has two sons. Her husband, I think, passed away a couple of years ago. She's going to clean out the house and sell it. And then I think she's going to move to be closer to her sister and stuff. So she's, you know, she's leaving. And that just reminds you that life changes. And that's just, again, I'm looking now at a picture of my brother and my two brothers, my brother that passed away, Kenneth that lives with me and my other brother, Thomas, who's in the hospital right now, they're standing in front of his car, you know, you know, dressed like twins, <laughs> You know, white shirts, you know, shorts and sneakers. And just looking at that picture just makes me, you know, I, I put that picture up because, mainly because I like the picture because both of them are in there and, and they're smiling in it. And it's a nice sunny day. And it, I, th I think that was shortly after my brother, I got out of prison and stuff. And it's just, it just, I don't know, the picture makes me happy. And I'm just, again, hoping that my brother, my oldest brother, he gets his health issues straightened out and nothing bad happens to him. And that's why I was praying when my sister calls me back. She told me, okay, the doctor said, this is what's wrong with him. 
there's a treatment program for him and to hopefully get him feeling better and stuff and hopefully it can solve his issues and stuff and get him on the road to recovery and stuff <sighs> and hope that happens so fingers crossed that happens uh so anyway i'm sorry just again i'm distracted by that <laughs> anyway um Links to my social media in the description box, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I also have a link to my other channels, both views and opinions. If you check that out as well. Also, I have a link down below to my Patreon. I want to say a special thank you to my patron. His name will appear in this video somewhere, probably right there. Uh, I want to say thank you to him for supporting me. I always have the back of my god, my patrons only five dollars a month. I have tons of content on there. Uh, um, t DC TV shows, uh, Marvel TV shows on there. I also, again, gonna have movies on there now. I have about uh. I have the Star Wars movie, the original trilogy on there. I have, I put um, uh, Glass Onion on there. Uh, Shazam is on there. Uh, Bones and All is on there. And what's the other movie that I got? Bones and All and uh, oh, Waves, a movie called Waves. Uh, that's all on there, unedited. And so I'm putting more movies on there as well. And, but I'm going to probably be doing TV shows because The Flash starts again on March 8th, so I'll be doing that. That's the last season of The Flash, so I'll be reviewing that. And Superman and Lois comes back in March, along with The Mandalorian, so I'll be re reacting to that, those two TV shows as well. And I'll be mixing in movies. I'll, that's what I'll be doing. I'll mix in movies every once in a while, so that way I'll still keep doing it. I probably won't do two movies as much. I'll just try to squeeze in one movie, <laughs> excuse me, as well on my patreon as well as an edited version on this channel okay so anyway uh please give this video a thumbs up it helps the channel and i truly appreciate it also hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you know when i upload new content to this channel and this is trey pastor saying so long and take care